Hello everyone. My name is Ankit and I'm going to introduce you with the Spring Security LDAP integration and SAML extension course. I'm a DevOps nerd and a Spring and Cloud enthusiastic. In my spare time, I like to work on Docker and provide educational services. Now, this course is designed to give you everything Spring Security has to offer for authentication and authorization by integrating with different protocols like LDAP, Lightweight Directory Access Protocol, SAML, Security Assertion Markup Language, OAuth, Open Authorization, JAS integration and testing framework is also included in this course. So let's talk about what we are going to cover in this course. We will start with introducing you to LDAP, a protocol designed to access directory services which can store the information of an entire organization into a central repository and accessible from anywhere over the network. Now we will learn the LDAP concepts and protocol working along with configuration required to set up a Spring Security application to access the LDAP server. We will first connect and authenticate with embedded LDAP server and then moving on to Active Directory Lightweight services to connect and authenticate and authorized with. This will detail Apache Directory server, installation, concept and configuration and then we will update the Spring Security application to connect and authenticate authorize with Apache Directory Server. In this section, we will introduce you to SAML, a protocol works on the basis of service and identity provider and provides web single sign-on facility. We will then learn the SAML basics, building blocks, followed by a Spring Security SAML configuration. At the end of this section, we will have a SAML Spring Security application up and running. This is a bonus section which explains the Spring Security testing framework. We will be revisiting Spring Security Java configuration and method security in this section. We will then go ahead to test method security and integrate Spring Security with Spring Framework's Mock MVC. Thereby leveraging the Mock MVC to test your get post methods, form logins and then do the request matchings. Now, this security additional section will talk about JAS and OAuth 2. We will configure and develop application by integrating with JAS and OAuth 2. The prerequisite for this course is that you have a basic understanding of creating Java web application. If you have worked on a Spring Framework and you know a little bit about a Spring Security Java configuration or how a Spring Security works, how authentication objects gets created and how it gets authenticated and authorized. No previous experience is needed with LDAP, SAML, JAS and OAuth 2. We have, we got you covered here. Now let's roll up our sleeves and get started with the course in the next video. Thank you.